HIV AIDS, the silent killer. A doctor's visit. Hello, what can I do for you? Doctor, I've heard a lot about HIV, but I don't really understand what it is. Could you explain, please? Sure, it's a very serious health topic. HIV stands for Human Immunodeficiency Virus. It is a deadly virus that causes the condition AIDS. It can kill you. What? It can kill me? Isn't there a cure for it? No, there is no cure for HIV or AIDS. It can affect anybody who is not careful. Since there is no cure, prevention is the best defense. It is important to know the facts so you can protect yourself and stop it from spreading. Why is it dangerous? How does it kill? Okay, let me explain it to you. Why is this dangerous? A body is like a country with a defense system called our immune system. To protect the country from foreign attackers, every country has its own defense system organized with commanders and soldiers. The commanders mobilize troops and maintain order among the soldiers. Similarly, our body's immune system army protects us from foreign germs and infections. Our skin is like a strong wall which protects us from many germs and infections. Inside our body, our immune system army chiefs, also known as CD4 T cells, maintain order among the soldiers to keep us healthy and fit. Our soldiers follow all the commands of the army chiefs to kill foreign attackers. One type of foreign attacker is a virus. One of the deadliest viruses in the world is HIV, the human immunodeficiency virus. HIV cannot survive in the air like some other viruses, and you cannot get it from the air. However, it is very powerful and dangerous if it enters someone's body. This virus is deadly because it is able to attack the army chiefs and assassinate them. HIV starts multiplying and takes over the body. This is when the person is HIV positive. Without the army chiefs, the soldiers don't know what to do and therefore are unable to fight against any foreign attackers. Over time, HIV destroys so many army chiefs in the body that the immune system finally collapses. When this breakdown of the immune system happens, a person is said to have AIDS or Acquired Immune Deficiency Syndrome. AIDS patients are so vulnerable to infections that even very weak germs can cause serious infections or death. A major problem in the world. HIV AIDS is a global problem. There are millions and millions of people living with HIV or AIDS in the world. HIV AIDS can affect anyone, any age, any gender, any race, any religion. It can affect anyone. Of all the people in the world who have HIV or AIDS, 90% of them do not know that they are infected. You or someone you love could have it, so it is important to understand the facts. Know the facts. Is it easy to get HIV? No, it is not easy. You cannot catch HIV from the air like a common cold, nor can you get it from food or water. You cannot get HIV from any animals such as chickens or cows. It can only survive and travel through certain human body fluids. All humans have fluids in their bodies. For example, tears, sweat, and saliva. The virus can only be passed through three fluids. This is the three-point mantra. Three-point mantra. 
blood, breast milk, sexual fluids. Okay, what about other body fluids? How do I know which ones are safe and which ones are dangerous? Good question. Let me explain. How does someone get infected? Part 1. High-risk fluids. There are two categories of body fluids. The high-risk dangerous fluids and the no-risk safe fluids. HIV can only be passed through high-risk fluids, which are blood, breast milk, and sexual fluids. Our three-point mantra. Blood is a high-risk fluid. The virus can enter from sources like blood transfusions, used razor blades, or used needles and syringes. Sometimes, it can pass from a mother to child. While the mother is pregnant, during childbirth, or through mother's milk. Blood and breast milk are high-risk fluids. HIV can pass through sexual fluids if they are directly transferred from an infected person to someone who is not infected. These are high-risk fluids. HIV cannot spread through any other fluids. It cannot spread through saliva. Saliva is a no-risk fluid. It cannot spread through mucus, like nose fluids or cough. Mucus is a no-risk fluid. It cannot spread through sweat. Sweat is a no-risk fluid. It cannot spread through tears. Tears are no-risk fluids. It cannot spread through body waste. Urine and stool are no-risk. How does someone get infected? Part 2. Direct Transmission Remember, our skin is like a thick wall which protects us, and HIV cannot survive in the air. The virus must find a way to have direct transmission into your body in order to survive. What is direct transmission? Direct transmission can take place in two ways. First, direct transmission occurs through cuts or wounds on the skin, which allow the virus to enter blood. These cuts can occur anywhere on the body. Or, direct transmission can occur through natural openings in the body, like mouths or private parts. Remember, the virus cannot survive in the air like the flu or common cold. The virus is powerful only if it enters the body, through direct transmission. How do you know if you might be infected? Use the triangle test. Step 1. Is there a high-risk fluid? If no, stop here. There is no HIV risk. If yes, proceed to step 2. Step 2. Is there direct transmission? If no, stop here there is no HIV risk. If yes, proceed to step three. Step three, there is a possible HIV infection. Talk to a doctor. But I heard that you can get infected if someone with HIV or AIDS coughs on you. Is this true? Let's look at the diagram again. This time, you answer the questions in my doctor's challenge. Doctor's Challenge. When asked a question, think about the correct answer. Remember the triangle test. Can you get HIV from someone sneezing or coughing on you? No, you cannot. Let's find out why. Are saliva and mucus high-risk fluids? No, they are not. Therefore, there is no chance of infection. You cannot get HIV from someone sneezing or coughing on you. Can you get HIV from sharing a needle with someone? Yes, you can. Let's find out why. Is blood a high-risk fluid? Yes. Is there direct transmission? Yes. 
There is a possible HIV infection. Talk to a doctor. You can get HIV from sharing a needle with someone. Can you get HIV from shaking someone's hand? No, you cannot. Let's find out why. Is skin a high risk fluid? No, it is not even a fluid. Then there is no infection. You cannot get HIV from shaking someone's hand. Can you get HIV from a toilet? No, you cannot. Let's find out why. Are urine and stool high risk fluids? No. Therefore, there is no infection. You cannot get HIV from a toilet. Can you get HIV from animals such as cows or chickens? No, you cannot. Let's find out why. We do not have to go through the triangle test because you cannot get HIV from animals or insects, only from humans. Therefore, there is no chance of infection. You cannot get HIV from animals or insects. Can you get HIV from hugging someone? No, you cannot. Let's find out why. Is sweat a high risk fluid? No. Therefore, there is no infection. You cannot get HIV from hugging someone. Can a baby get HIV from breast milk? Yes, they can. Let's find out why. Is breast milk a high risk fluid? Yes. Is there direct transmission? Yes. There is a possible HIV infection. Talk to a doctor. A baby can get HIV from breast milk. Can you get HIV from kissing? No, you cannot. Let's find out why. Is saliva a high risk fluid? No. Therefore, there is no infection. You cannot get HIV from kissing. Can you get HIV from unprotected sex? Yes, you can. Let's find out why. Are sexual fluids high risk? Yes. Is there direct transmission? Yes. There is a possible HIV infection. Talk to a doctor. Both males and females can get HIV from having unprotected sex. Can you get HIV from a mosquito bite? No, you cannot. Let's find out why. We do not have to go through the triangle test because you cannot get HIV from animals or insects, only from humans. Thus, there is no chance of infection. But, doctor, mosquitoes suck human blood. Why is there no chance of infection? Good question. Mosquitoes are a special case. Let me show you why there is no chance of infection. Let's look at the triangle test. Is blood a high risk fluid? Yes. Is there direct transmission? No. Mosquitoes only suck blood. They do not inject it. Therefore, there is no direct transmission. Thus, there is no chance of infection. You cannot get HIV from mosquitoes or any insects. Just remember, as a general rule, you can only get HIV from humans and not from any animals or insects. How do you know there is an infection? Can you tell by looking at a person if they have HIV or AIDS? No, you cannot tell by looking at a person whether he or she has HIV or AIDS. Appearances can be deceiving. An infected person can look perfectly healthy and work like a normal person. They may not know themselves that they are infected. Some people show no physical signs of HIV or AIDS for years. Others may show signs like fever, coughing, headache, skin rash, and sweat. But eventually, everyone who is infected 
gets extremely sick. Once HIV develops into AIDS, the symptoms are more severe. They become very tired, sick, and lose a lot of weight. But those symptoms are similar to a common cold or flu. Exactly. That's the scary part. Early symptoms are similar to the flu. Because of this, many people don't know that they are infected until they are very sick. If you have been involved with high-risk fluids with possible direct transmission, you should talk to a doctor and get tested. How do I protect myself from the virus? How do you protect yourself? Remember our three-point mantra? In order to get HIV, you must have direct transmission of high-risk fluids. Blood. Do not share instruments such as razors, blades, needles, and syringes. These instruments may be infected with tiny amounts of the virus, which you cannot see with the human eye. Donate blood only to blood banks that use sterilized equipment. If you receive a blood transfusion, make sure clean needles and HIV-tested blood are used. Blood and breast milk mother to child. A baby can become infected in the mother's womb, during childbirth, or through breast milk. But, with the help of a doctor, a pregnant woman can prevent the transmission of HIV to her baby. She can still have a healthy baby. Breast milk, mother to child. If you are infected and plan to have a baby, consult your doctor about using powder milk or some other substitute. Sexual fluids. The bride and groom should get an HIV test before marriage. Remember, 90% of people who are infected do not know. Your partner may not know that he or she is infected. Just get tested. Always use a condom. They prevent direct transmission of HIV when used regularly and properly. If you cannot use one because you are trying to have a baby, then you must make sure both of you have been tested. The more partners you have, the more you are at risk. Make sure everyone has been HIV tested. Why is testing important? I know why. There may be no symptoms, so testing is the only way to know if you have the virus. Plus, appearances can be deceiving, so testing is the only way to be sure. Very good. It's quick, easy, and painless to get tested. Go to the hospital and they will check your blood. Ask your family doctor about testing. If you do not want anyone to know, go to an anonymous testing facility. Although there is no cure for HIV AIDS, there are treatments that will help you live longer. With treatment, your chances of infecting loved ones is reduced significantly. It is important to get medical help early. Thank you for teaching me so much. What can I do to stop the spread of HIV? What can you do to help? Spread the message that 1. It is easy to protect yourself. Know the facts and share them with your loved ones. 2. Get tested and encourage others to test as well. It's better to be safe than sorry. And three, healthy decisions now will ensure a healthy future. Let's join together to save our world from being invaded by HIV.